So with the printer build complete, it's time to refine the setup and go through initial calibration before we can finally get printing. Okay, so with the printer now fully constructed, before we actually power it up, we'll need to correctly tension the belts. This is crucial to achieving good quality prints as loose belts can cause all kinds of artifacts and shifting issues. So start by moving the extruder by hand to the front center position. Next, press the gantry corner against the front of the core XY and make sure there is no play. Do this procedure on both sides. If there is any play in either side, slightly loosen the belt tensioning bolt. Loosen the bolt on the corner with play less than the other. Repeat until perfect alignment is achieved, after which we can begin to set belt tension. To do this, move the next ruler to the rear center position. You may find it useful to use the Prusa belt tensioner webpage or the Prusa app for this step, where we begin by strumming the belts with the smartphone held close so that the frequency can be measured. We're aiming for a frequency between 80 to 90 hertz. Adjust the tensioning screws. A tighter bolt causes a higher frequency and vice versa. Test both sides until happy. With belts now correctly tensioned, we can go ahead and attach the print sheet. Make sure there's nothing on the heat bed and that it's clean before lowering the steel sheet down, aligning the rear with the pins and letting the magnets snap the sheet down the rest of the way, taking care not to pinch your fingers. The sheet must remain clean even from the oils on your fingers, so use some IPA to degrease and clean the bed to allow for the best adhesion during printing. Finally, insert the supplied USB drive into the side USB port on the display assembly. This contains the latest firmware already, so proceed to power the printer on. And if the firmware is required, you will be prompted on screen. Note that if the firmware is not required, you will skip this step and will not see this message. Either way, allow the firmware to install if needed. Once done, we'll be presented with the language screen, so rotate the knob if needed and press to select language, and you'll eventually get to the calibration wizard. The printer will begin testing the fans. And we'll then move on to the door sensor, which does require some interaction. So we'll need to gradually tighten the sensor tension screw from its default loose position in half turn steps, possibly several times during calibration. Repeat the procedure until the door sensor is correctly adjusted. The system will then check the X and Y axes to ensure all are working OK. This is an important one. The extruder will move around and test itself across both axes one at a time. All successfully complete here. Load cell test next, so go ahead and open the door and proceed to tap the nozzle when prompted. It won't be hot, so feel free to continue. And with that, the load cell is calibrated. Next comes a Z axis test, so the bed will raise and lower across its full range, after which all heater and nozzle sensors will be checked. You can leave it to do its thing here. And then comes gear calibration, which involves opening the idler and swivel doors, loosening the three screws by a turn and a half, and then letting the system calibrate after which we can tighten the three screws in the order directed, and then close the idler doors. Finally, it's the filament sensor calibration. When prompted, insert it into the short filament tube on the right side of the printer until the sensor activates. Once calibration finishes, remove the filament. And with that, the kit build is complete. You are now ready to load any filament of your choosing, although I'd recommend basic PLA to start with, in order to print your first model. Leave the print to complete, and after a short while, you'll have your first successful test print, hopefully the first of many more to come. Project complete. 
If you have any questions, please do feel free to leave a comment. And if you're thinking of buying your own printer, there's a link in the video description where you'll receive some Prusa points that you can put towards free filament and other rewards. In the meantime, happy printing.